Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. We're all here because of something terrible that and tragic that never should have happened. But we're all here confronting it and trying to change it. Because enough is enough. Making change is our responsibility. We can't just sit back and wait for someone else to fix it for us. Not when we have something uniquely spectacular to offer the world. And each of us do. So don't just sit back. Make change. Create something. Start something. Don't just speak. Scream until they hear you. Don't ask. Demand. I will not be silent. I will not wait until more lives are stolen. I will not be silent, and neither should you. It's a day of justice for all of us. We stand up. We want our schools to be armed with resources for school counselors, nurses, restorative justice specialists, and trauma-informed healing programs. Not with guns and metal detectors. Increased security and militarization on school campuses does not inherently equal more protection for students. In fact, it often leads to more severe discrimination against youth of color. In a time of increasing systematic violence such as deportations, travel bans, and police brutality, intensified security induces trauma and fear for many youth and their families. Nobody should live in fear! If we are the land of the free, then why do I feel like I'm in a prison? Right now, someone my age can go to a gun show, pay with cash, not have their background checked, and in less than 24 hours, legally own a weapon of mass destruction. How is this a well-regulated militia? One of the most common gun arguments against common sense gun laws is if we ban guns, they will just find another way. Let them find another way. Let's force mass murderers to get creative as hell, because I'm tired of it being easy for them. If owning a gun was an effective form of self-defense, your insurance rates would go down when you bought one. But they go up, because actuaries have proven that you're far more likely to shoot yourself or a family member than someone who is attacking you. Do not allow the term student or kid to deem you inferior. We have a special secret power that seems to have faded among many of our elders. Uh, it's called common sense. Our minds are malleable, not in the way which we are taught they are, deeming us dumber and less considerate, but in the way that we are able to look past prejudices and teachings and conditionings to see truth. We must use this to fight for policy that considers the people over the corporation and the group above the individual. This march was brought to you by a very special group. It was brought to you by Gen Z. Yeah. And let me tell you, they're angry. They're not happy. Do not be mistaken. We are armed with words so powerful they make the NRA tremble in their patent leather made in China cowboy boots. They haven't even met Gen Z. The children that you spit on as they try and change their world are immune to your consultations because they're quite aware of what they're going through. I saw a sign that said it was made by a seven-year-old. Why do seven-year-olds feel the need to protest? It's so sad. This is our time to make a change, our time to fight for our lives. It's our time to stand up. Fight for your lives, fight for a change. Make a change today, vote. Get your voice heard. I am emboldened by this movement, by this change, by your voices. Change is real. This is change. We need to pressure our representatives, our senators, anybody that will hear us. Because right now, guns are protecting us. They're killing our children. My school has had several shooting threats and bomb threats this year, and at one point my mom was so afraid to send me to school that she bought me a Kevlar insert for my backpack. That shouldn't have to happen. Every congressman that receives money from the NRA should have to, have to look at every protest, every funeral of someone who has, who has died by gun violence and have that on their conscience if they are going to value guns over our lives. 
and money over our right to live. Politics is not detached from us. It is a part of everyone and anyone who wants to have a say in their future. If you are neutral in situations of injustice, you have chosen the side of the oppressor. All of you here did not just wake up and decide to come here randomly. You all saw the issue, the present issue within this nation with gun violence. And I just wanted to say that the first step that must be taken in order for individuals to fight a problem is to realize that there is a problem. So that is the first step, being aware of issues around this community and across the nation. And the second step is up to you. We cannot let our Congress and executive officials continue to pretty up policy that avoids the crux of the issue. We cannot become content with the facade of progress. This is our lives and it is not something with which we can compromise. In every country where it has been implemented, gun control has worked to save lives. We need 14 day waiting periods, a 10 round magazine limit, and a ban on military grade assault weapons. We need a ban on bump stocks and cranks. We need a minimum purchase age of 21, child lock requirements on every weapon, and a ban on gun sales by private owners online and at gun shows. We need comprehensive training for gun owners and physical and mental exams before purchase. We need universal background checks and licenses for all five Firearms. Times have changed. Weapons have changed. Society has changed. Shouldn't our gun laws change too? So vote for yourselves, for your brothers, for your sisters, and for your sons and for your daughters. It is imperative that you vote. So join the Junior Commission, I don't know, form your own commission, call your representatives, your senators, email them, show up at their doors if you have to. If someone is saying the only way to stop a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun, they're probably just trying to sell two guns. Pressure your representatives to pressure their fellow members of Congress who are on the border of this and who do not see the issue. Register to vote and actually vote. Grab them by the midterms. One day our kids are gonna read about this in their history classes and we are gonna be knowing that we are the ones that made a difference. Take charge of the future because it belongs to you, not them. And whatever you do, don't give up hope and never forget that you're not alone. We're all here for you and we're all in this together. Thank you.